Hello and welcome back to another Python challenge. My name is Tom with Massacred Online. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. In today's challenge, we're going to challenge you to build a spell checker. Uh, we'll obviously be only using this in the terminal, but it'd be pretty cool to know how to build a spell checker. Also, we're going to limit our database just to the words that we're using. Uh, otherwise, we're going to have to build a giant database of actual legitimate words used in the dictionary uh yeah that sounds like a lot of work to me so we're not going to do that all right so we're just going to limit it to the words that we're using in testing uh if you guys want to extend that be my guest all right so basically what's going to happen is we're going to ask the user for an input the user inputs a string and then our little function is going to go ahead and check if that is a legitimate word in the English language. If not, it's going to go ahead and suggest a couple words to the user. Hopefully our accuracy is pretty good. So let's go ahead and take a look at how this works. So we'll do Python 3 and we're on intro.py. All right, so I'm going to input a string. I'm going to say I like dogs, but I'm putting an extra S in there. And it returns to me, did you mean dogs or dog instead of dogs? All right. Let's take a look at one more um, example here. I'll say I like, oops, I like hockey. Without the E, I'm going to put a Y. And it's going to say, did you mean hockey instead of hockey? All right. So that's our little spell check per, uh, challenge today. Go ahead and pause the video, give it a shot. Um, when you guys are done, if you got a solution, go ahead and post it on YouTube or at massacre.online. If not, and you need some help, go ahead and watch our solution. Uh, so go ahead and pause that video. Hello and welcome back. I hope that challenge wasn't too much. Uh, I hope you guys got it all figured out. So first things first, uh, we're gonna use a module called Diffalib. Basically what diffLib does is, is a bunch of uh, functions and uh, methods that allow us to compare uh, different data types together like a list. All right. So we're going to import diffLib. All right. And this will give us um, a, a uh, method called get closest matches, get close matches. The method is called and basically what it does is allow us to get matches that are similar to the correct uh or to the word the user put into the string all right so we'll look at that first let's first create our diction our our um, list of words in the english language obviously if we're doing this in a real setting we would go ahead and have some sort of database or some kind of file system to store all these words. But like I said before, we're just going to keep this simple. So we're going to say words, and it's going to be a list of a few words that we're going to check against. I, I like uh, dogs, dog, and hockey. Oops. All right, so we got our words. All right, this is our English dictionary. Um, next thing we want to do is get the user's input. That'd be the next simplest task. So we'll do S is going to get the user's input or represent the user's input. And we'll say input a string. All right. Um, and then finally, we're going to create a function here and we're going to say define word underscore check and pass in S as the parameter. And down here we'll do word underscore check and pass in S as the argument. All right, back up here, we're gonna go ahead and make this all happen now. First things first, we're gonna to wanna to do is take the user's input and split it up and put it into a list. This allows us to easily step through each word and check if it's spelled correctly. So we're gonna say for word in uh, S, all right, so S is the input and that's gonna be our argument. And we're gonna say case full. And the reason we're doing case fold is because if we do not remove the case fold, we would actually need to have words with capitals and lowercase. And that's about twice as much data because each word could be capitalized at some point. So let's try to keep the workload down. Uh, next thing we want to do is split that into the list, like I said, and we'll use split. All right, cool. So 
when we run this and we're going to loop through each word uh split will split on the uh white space so if there's any space it's going to remove this the white space and put it into a list uh next thing we want to do is check if the word is in the list of words if it's not in the list of words then that's when we're going to say hey did you mean this all right so we're going to say <clears throat> we're going to say if word not in words all right so if it's not in there let's go ahead and do something we're going to go ahead and suggest something so we'll call our variable suggestion we're going to say diff lib so we're calling the diff lib um module and like I said before, it allows us to compare different sequence of data types. Um, then we're going to say get close matches. And basically what close matches is, is it, well, it takes several arguments. We can, we can um, set up how close based on percentage. Also, how many you return to us. We're just going to focus on, hey, return something to us. All right. So first ones first is word. All right, so it's going to take word and it's going to check it against something. And that's going to be our next one, the sequence. And that's words up here. So it's going to take word, all right, and it's going to go up into this list and it's going to look through each one of these words. If they are very similar, it's going to go ahead and return a suggestion to us, all right? And it will only do this if the word is not up here. So if it's not up here, that means it's spelled incorrectly. So we're going to go ahead and run through this uh, last but not least we're going to go ahead and print something to the user we'll use an f string inside that f string we're going to say did you mean and then we're going to go ahead and instead of returning a list because that's what's going to be stored here in suggestions it's going to be a list of suggestions we're going to go ahead and join them and put them in a string and make it look uh, neat to the user so we'll comma separate those um, uh, suggestions and we'll say join join like that and then we're gonna go ahead and use list comprehension we'll do string X for X in suggestion just like that uh, then we're gonna go ahead and say instead of and the incorrect word like that and question mark and there we go there's our word check program so let's go ahead and run that up here and i'll do python3 solution.py and i got something wrong here what did i do wrong <laughs> f string is expecting a curly brace where are you expecting that curly brace system issue because I see all my curly braces I'll turn that and see if that works there we go all right so basically obviously you can't use double quotes inside double quotes that doesn't work you know what I mean all right anyway let's give this a shot let's say I like dukes with two O's and it says did you mean dogs or dog instead of dukes? So or we can do uh, one more. We say I like hockey. We'll spell hockey wrong with an A this time. Did you mean hockey or instead of hockey? Uh, so there you go. There's a little spell check program. Uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, we could definitely extend this. Uh, like I said, we could uh, uh, set up a database with the actual words of the English uh, dictionary also we could uh, extend this even more and check for punctuation and all that stuff that's way above my pay grade because I stink at English so if you guys have any questions please let me know otherwise uh, I'll see you in the next tutorial where we can um, build something else that's pretty cool and challenge ourselves so we'll see you then